Hey everyone, I'm going to take you through a little bit of the setup of the Import Export Power Tool from InsightWorks. So after you install the Power Tool, the first thing you need to do is assign the permission sets to you know, the people uh, appropriately. Of course, if you're a super user, if you're doing this for you know, doing initial system setup and things like that, you probably won't need to assign this. But from an ongoing basis, you'll want to make sure you assign the appropriate permissions to the appropriate people. So I'll just show you the permission sets that uh, come with the system. Let's just do this. So we've got two. We've got the manager and the user. Now the manager, what that gives you the ability to do is modify the setup. And that allows you to restrict access to specific capabilities within the power tool. The user doesn't have the ability to modify or even see the setup. Uh, they just can use whatever's being set up by uh, the system administrator. So for people that aren't allowed to do certain things, you'd want to set them as a user. For people who are allowed to modify the setup, you'd set them up as a manager. Now, and again, if you're a super user, it doesn't really matter. After you've done that, the first thing you're going to do is, well, I've gone in and bookmarked it here, but you're going to find the InsightWorks uh, Import Export Power Tool. And when you open that up for the first time, it's going to prompt you and say, hey, you haven't run the setup yet. Please go check that out. So let's do that. So what we've got here, I'll go through these fields very quickly and then we'll see what they, they actually do. <clears throat> but the Power Tool has the ability to update data, delete data, uh, as well as importing and exporting data. But we give some access control over that so we can prevent people from import or from updating or deleting data. I'm going to allow people to update data, but I'm also going to use this enhanced confirmation, which prevents people from you know, accidentally just clicking through a confirmation box and those sorts of things. So this, this forces them to think about what they're doing a little bit. So I'm going to provide update and delete access uh, for any user that's using the thing. Now, of course, there are other permissions still come into play. So if I try and delete data from a table I'm not allowed to delete from, it, it will yell at me and will prevent that, of course. This disable change log, this allows us to you know, let the users disable the change log when they're making changes. So when you're doing you know, massive imports and things like that, you may want to disable that to you know, prevent a lot of additional records from being created. I'm going to leave that as no access so people can't disable the change log when they're doing something in the system. Finally, protected tables are things like item ledger entries or warehouse entries or posted sales invoices and things like that. The power tool, you know, is a power tool. It's a, a tool for power users. It does give you the ability to import, export, delete, modify things like item ledger entries or GL entries. Actually, I think GL entries are excluded, but a number of those tables that you know are, are kind of protected by the system, this does give you the ability to change those. And where that often comes into play, where you might find that useful, is for example, if you're converting a location to use bins, you might want to import warehouse ledger entries, uh, or sorry, warehouse entries. Um, if you're, uh, you know, accidentally forgot to put an address in on a uh, posted shipment or something, you could you could maybe update that after the fact. There's lots of reasons why you might want to do that, but by default, I would leave that as no access, which means we can't access those protected tables. All right. So once we've got the setup done, it just opens up our uh, power tool here and gives us our options. Now I also come in here, I always sort of pin the, uh, uh, the uh, action bar here so that it's always visible. And we've got a bunch of options. We've got, you know, import, export, delete, and update. So all the sort of database activities you might want to perform. And that's basically it. That's how we set it up. You, you know, check the permission sets, and then you simply do the setup, indicate what you want, and you can now start importing and exporting data. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.